My name is Pablo Vilas, I'm a film critic from Brazil, and I'm here with Fernando Meirelles, film director and one of the uh, executive producers of the uh, documentary, Helena. Fernando, let's start from the, the beginning. Uh, when did you first watch Helena? How did you come in contact with the film? Well, before finishing the film, in that last stage, Petra uh, called me and, and invited me to watch the film. And of course, I wanted to see it, and I was just expecting to see a regular documentary. And then when I watched it, I was really blown away. This was the best film I've seen in, in the last two years. I'd say, to, yeah, I don't remind a documentary uh, touching me like this for you. I mean, in really the past 10 years, I mean, I've been, I've seen some great documentaries, but uh, not as good as this one in this decade. And that's why I became an executive producer. It's just because I love the film. And what about the film uh, touched you that, uh, so much that you wanted to, to become involved with it? Because I was expecting to watch a film. And then, this is not a film, a regular film, that you go there and, and watch a story or, or a documentary on something. It's more like an experience. You know, this kind of film, like Malik's films, that are experience, that you, you, it's more about feeling than watching and understanding. I think when, when people uh, read documentary, they think about TV shows that with a voiceover explaining things and, and lecturing you on, on different subjects. But that's definitely not the case of, of this film and some other brilliant documentaries, because it really hooks you and, and, uh, and you're taken in, the, in this journey like you were watching a thriller. You want to know where it's going to lead you and, and you're so involved. The experience is very emotional, especially in Elena. It's not a, I'm not learning th something, I'm experiencing something. And something that uh, talks to, to me, it's very personal. And it was, that's why I was really blown away, because when you watch the film, you, you keep having insights, you know, because it talks so about so many things at the same time. There's so many layers. It's this kind of film that you watch and, and keeps you thinking and, and thinking about yourself and about the other and trying to put the, the pieces together. It was really a, a very intense experience. So I think that's why I was so uh, amazed by the film, because it's really an experience, not, not just a film. Yeah, you said something that it didn't, it hadn't occurred to me, but it does sound like if Terence Malick was directing a documentary, that would be the kind of film that he would do. I think so, and I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of Malick. And I think it has a bit of, of, of his, uh, his feeling in the film, because it's very emotional, like all his films. talks about life, about uh, why we're here, and, and the meaning of our existence, and uh, very strong images. It's just, yeah, it could be like a Malick documentary. With the same quality, I would say, because there's some images, very powerful images, that are very related to what uh, the story is telling you. It's, it's really... And there's, there's something that's very striking about the film. It has a very strong sense of atmosphere. Uh, it's very melancholic, also very cathartic. And it's through the uh, editing and the photography that it involves the, the audience. So how would you describe the, the roles of the photography and the editing in creating this atmosphere? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really a, a beautiful combination of different sources because the film uses uh, a lot of Super 8 that Petra found from her sister, VHS and, uh, and, and clips, clipping from newspaper. And uh, I mean, he, she tried to, to bring all the sources of information she could. And uh, so, so in the end, the film is, is, is like a patchwork of, of different kinds of in textures of images. And, and then above all this, she, she creates her own images. I think she, she tried to create some in, images that would express her feelings. It's like our memory it has different textures and, and that's how the film works. And, and the fluidity of the film uh, that you're mentioning, there is this striking resemblance between Petra and her sister and their mother, physically uh, uh, resemblance, and also the melancholy of all the three of the three of, her, uh, of the girls share. And uh, sometimes you don't know if you're seeing Petra or Elena or their mother. And also that that's in that sequence of the river, 
it all comes together. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that, that's another thing that I liked about the film, because I mean, the genre is, is a documentary, but you really, when, when you watch it, it's like you're watching a feature, you know, a story. At some point, I, I thought I was watching like a, a road movie. You know, these kind of films that somebody needs to find somebody, uh, I don't know, uh, the murder or, or, or the wife that was lost or the son, and then you just follow the guy, uh, I mean, uh, traveling to, to find the other one. That's exactly how this film feels. That's why it feels like a feature, because you see Petra in, in this road of uh, reading diaries and, and, and trying to get material and talk to people to, to find her, her sister. So I'd say it's, it's, a, it's a psychological road movie, you know? And uh, so there's a, there's a kind of thriller because you don't know where she, who she's going to find and how is this sister that she, she's going to find. And uh, so this is very interesting. There is something very particular about this, about this film. The fact that it's not investigating some great incident, some great occurrence, and we are trying to find out uh, how, who killed Kennedy or something like that. But it's, it starts from a very personal point of view. It's, a, it's a, a, a loss, a personal loss. And through the film, that, that private story become, becomes something that anyone can relate to. That's the beauty of the thing, because it's, it's, it's very personal. And it's a documentary, but very personal and very subjective. It's, it's, and that's, it's like you're, you're, when you're watching, it's like there's nothing that you... You don't really understand. You're just floating in this this world of her her mind. You know, it's a mixture of memories with this feeling of guilty and this the pain of this irreversible loss. So sometimes things happen in our lives we don't accept. It hurts, but there's nothing to do. So you have to accept. So the film is at the same time the process of of Petra trying to accept this pain. She needs to, There's, it's re irreversible, I mean. It's still, it's still uh, painful, but I, I learned how to deal with this. Uh, there's a lot of documentaries nowadays that they start precisely from this um, personal point of view. Uh, I can remember of uh, Marathon Boy, um, Dreams of a Life, which is a devastating film, Dear Zachary, uh, Sarah Pauli's story we tell. And there is one particular film, documentary, The Woodman's, that is also about a young artist trying to express herself and she's trying to deal with depression and she, she, she can cope. And the difference between The Woodman's uh, and Elena is The Woodman's is, is a vision from outside in. There is a documentary filmmaker who's interviewing her family. And this time we see someone from her own family trying to deal and understand and cope and process uh, the, the, uh, the loss. How do you think this structure, I'm going to tell the story from inside out instead of outside in, um, changes and, and, and informs the, the film. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, that's what I was saying. And this, this is a road movie, but the road is, is her internal road. That's the beauty of it, because uh, uh, it's something so personal. And, and how do you, do you tell the, the audience so, uh, things that are in, in facts and feelings that are so personal? And uh, so she tries to talk, and, and so we, we hear Petra talking during the film, and she shows, I mean, old films, and, and she, she reads uh, uh, lines written by her sister, and she talks to her mother, or talks about her mother. It's really a mix of everything that is in her head. She's trying to expose uh, all that she feels, I mean, uh, it's like <laughs> in this road, it's like we're in this car inside her head and in the window you see all these different uh, uh, landscapes, you know, Super 8 and, and videos and, and, uh, and, and we go in this journey, yeah, well, yeah, we travel in this journey uh, inside Petra's uh, mind. But this is so well done, I mean, that you, you really, you're, you're really inside someone's feeling, it's really fantastic. And the music and, and the way the, 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 the speeches are combined, it's really... So, according to you, if I'm getting this right, Elena is a thriller. A road movie. A road movie that was directed by someone like Terence Malick. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's a mix of influences and styles uh, yeah. and... Which is a... V I mean, I want to watch that movie. 
<laughs> a road movie and, that's and also all a thriller? That being sold as a documentary, which is, yeah, it's not a document. It's not a documentary. I, I think we, we should create this third, third genre of, of film. I mean, you can watch a feature, a documentary, or an experienced film. This is more in this third category, which is experience, films that you experience, not that you... I think maybe, maybe that's what is missing, It's create this third, which is the kind of film I like better, you know, films that you experience. One of the themes of the film is her sister's yearning to express herself artistically. She, she feels like uh, without art, life's not worth living. Yeah, she says that. Yeah. Uh, as an artist yourself, how, how do you... There's this anxiety of young people. I mean, she needs to, a solution and there's no solution now. So there's no meaning and, and uh, she had waited a bit longer, but she couldn't because she was young and she was anxious. And, and the film, that's what I was saying. The film has so many different layers. That it's so rich. I kept being reminded of Eduardo Coutinho uh, in the sense that Eduardo Coutinho was one of the greatest filmmakers, documentary filmmakers of history of movie. And uh, he always, he was very able to establish a personal connection with someone, or anyone he was interviewing. And in the movie, Petra is interviewing her mother. I mean, there's no, it, it can't be more personal than that. And she, she shows a kind of, um, she's very careful when she's interviewing her mother. There's a moment when she puts her, her, her hand on her mother's shoulders like, can we keep talking about this? And it's a very painful, painful moment. But then her mother, in the middle of a sentence, which is a very powerful sentence, she stops and says, oh, look at the colors of the, the, the leaves. And that strikes me as that kind of complexity you just mentioned, because you see that you can feel pain. It's very hurtful. But at the same time, her mother can see the beauty of the leaves that are life, surrounded. Life goes on. Yeah. Goes on. Yeah, yeah. And that's something that the movie itself reveals. That the, the movie is a way of life going on. For a filmmaker to create so image so powerful and so personal, how 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 does how do you deal with that? I mean, uh, it's uh, very rare to see you know films with this that goes so deep into s directors' uh, minds and, and feeling and. Uh, but in a sense, it's also universal. Would you say that? Of course, I think maybe because it's, it's so personal, touches uh, everybody because she's talking about loss. I'm sure that 98% uh, of people uh, has lost people, uh, loved people, and, and you have to deal with pain. So, so it's really about everybody's feeling because we all, I mean, we, we, we all lost uh, persons that we love and, and we have to deal with this. We, we all have done things in our lives that we regret, but we have to deal with it because there's no, no way back. So, I think everybody understands irreversibility and guilty and loss. This is what the film talks about. Of course, we're talking about this specific case, but you can't, can't avoid thinking about your own uh, losses and your own irreversible or, or, or the stupid things you've done and you regret it and, and all that. Yeah. So it's very personal. It talks to anybody in any country, in any place in the world, yeah. It's a Brazilian documentary about um, Brazilian girls. They're trying to make it big, I don't know, in New York, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Brazilian production. But it's not really Brazilian, is it? Yeah, when, when I watch it, I, I don't think it's a Brazilian film. Well, it's set in New York, spoken in English. And, uh, and the experience, I mean, the, 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 the main event happened in, in the US. But it's not an American film because uh, it's a Brazilian family and uh, it's, I think it's really a universal film. You, you can't say it's a Latin film, not at all, a Brazilian film, no. It could be European, yeah, it's, it's really a universal, quite universal. So, Elena was directed, uh, written by uh, a woman. Um, we, we don't have that many uh, women in, in directing positions and, and screenwriting positions, and especially not documentary filmmaking. If I had watched it without knowing Petra and without knowing who had directed, I would say it was directed by a woman. It's a very feminine film. 
I mean, it's really, it's the complexity of, of the, the way the thoughts goes and, and the way the, the, yeah, the flow of the, the ideas come. It's very feminine, very complex, so full of layers and, and, and it's, 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 quite, it's quite intense. I think men are, are much more rational. We're more on and off, you know. <laughs> it, it's, this is, is black and white. We tend to be more... And this is so, yeah, you don't know what color you're seeing, you don't know exactly, it's just like a dream, it's, it's like water, which is feminine. So it couldn't, Elena couldn't be done by a man, no way, no way. It's really filmed by a woman and, uh, and it's good to see it, like, it's very different. So it's, it's great to, to go deep into a woman's mind. And when you say that men are very rational, uh, yeah, more tend to be, yeah, yeah. tend to be, of course. I mean, you know, well, I try to be very subtle and very, yeah. But I know I, I'm, I'm more. I go straight to the point. Nice. And women, they know how to go around, around, and around till something comes up. You know? And that's the thing. I mean, we're, we're, we can be rational in a bad way, in a way that uh, I mean, I, I'm going to think about this. That is hurting me. <laughs> but when I think about it, it hurts me. So I won't think about it. And a, a woman sometimes, yes. yeah. yeah, she can, you know, it hurts me and I want to understand why it's hurting me. And in the process, she's very rational in the movie. I, I, I would say that, that there are extremely rational moments in the film when she's trying to understand exactly why she's feeling the way she's feeling. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't think a man could direct that movie quite that, that way. Feelings in some ways very liquid, <laughs> isn't it? You, you can't, and so I think women are better to go to, to yeah, to, to roll in this water and, and try to and wait till something comes up and and and, and work on whatever comes up and, and so it's now, a very 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 feminine. And film. now you made me feel ill-equipped to talk about the movie. <laughs> I think I'm not in a position to discuss. No, I mean, we, we, I mean, I would never be able to 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 create something like Elena. But I thank God I have the, 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 the equipment to appreciate and to be blown away by it. Okay. Fernando, thank you so much. Uh, and and uh, I, I agree with you. It's, it's a very, very touching and it's a beautiful, beautiful movie.